let's look at speed distance time so the key formula that we need for this topic is that speed equals to distance divided by time and some useful rearrangements of this are that speed multiplied by time equals the distance and time equals the distance divided by speed some common units for speed that we might encounter are kilometers per hour meters per second and miles per hour there are also others that we might come across Similarly, for units for distance, we could have meters, kilometers, miles, and units for time, we could have seconds, minutes, and hours. Look at some examples of where we use this formula to work out either speed, distance, or time. The first example says, what is the average speed in miles per hour if a person travels 15 miles in 2 hours 30 minutes? So we first need to identify what we're trying to work out. So we're trying to work out average speed, therefore we would need this rearrangement of the formula. And so we would have speed equals to the distance divided by the time. And in this question, we have that the distance equals to 15 miles. And we also have that the time equals to 2 hours 30 minutes. Now, since we need the average speed in miles per hour, we need to convert our time into hours. And so 2 hours and 30 minutes is the same as 2.5 hours. And so we use 2.5 hours in our calculation. So we have 15 miles all over 2.5 hours. 15 divided by 2.5 is equal to 6. And miles divided by hours gives us units of miles per hour. And so we have that the average speed in miles per hour if a person travels 15 miles in 2 hours 30 minutes is equal to 6 miles per hour. Let's look at a second example. So the question says, if a person travels at 30 miles per hour, how long would it take to travel a distance of 70 miles? So we see from the question that we're trying to work out the time. And so we need to rearrange this formula so that we have time as the subject. We do that by multiplying both sides by time and dividing both sides by speed. In other words, using the formula, time equals to distance divided by speed. And so in this question, we're told that the distance is equal to 70 miles and the speed is equal to 30 miles per hour. So substituting those values into the formula gives us 70 miles over 30 miles per hour. Now, in this case, 70 divided by 30 simplifies to 7 over 3 and our units become the following. So we have miles in the numerator and we have miles per hour in the denominator. The miles cancel and so we're left with hours. We can convert this into hours and minutes or just minutes by doing the following. So if we do 7 over 3 hours multiplied by 60, this will give us the value of time in minutes. And so 60 multiplied by 7 is equal to 420. 420 divided by 3 is equal to 140. So we have 140 minutes. This can be written in terms of hours and minutes too. So 60 minutes in an hour, if we do 140 divided by 60, we find that we get 2 hours and 20 minutes. And so any of these answers would be completely fine for the time. For our final example, we have that a person walks at a speed of 4.5 kilometers per hour for 50 minutes. What distance do they cover? Well, since we're trying to work out distance, we need to rearrange this formula so that we have distance as the subject. And so in other words, we use the formula distance equals to speed multiplied by time. And so in this question, we're told that the time that it takes is 50 minutes and we're told that the speed is 4.5 kilometers per hour. So since we have kilometers per hour, it would be a good idea to convert the time into hours so that the hours cancel neatly and so we're left with kilometers. So we would have that the speed is 4.5 kilometers per hour and that the time in terms of hours would be the following. So to convert 50 minutes into hours, we divide by 60. 
So 50 over 60 hours is the same as 50 minutes. 50 over 60 simplifies to 5 over 6. So 5 over 6 hours equals to 50 minutes. If we use this value, then we get that 4.5 kilometers per hour multiplied by 5 over 6 hours. The hours cancel, and so we're left with 4.5 multiplied by 5 over 6 kilometers. So 4.5 as a fraction can be written as 9 over 2. And when we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and the denominators. So 9 times 5 gives us 45, 2 times 6 gives us 12. And so if we simplify this, we find that we get an answer of 3.75 kilometers. And so the distance covered is 3.75 kilometers.